not very long until he goes power rank, I'm sure. We'll see about that. <laughs> I think I have exactly one PR win to my name. I'm looking to increase that number. Not a breakthrough, of course. Of course, but it's sure to come. And going to see Tisla, I believe. Is, is I believe so. Yeah, this player is very new to me as well. And as a regular here at Hat, it's always refreshing to see new faces, especially this far into the bracket. Props to him for sticking with Ike. Will he be able to get this recovery? Doesn't look like it, no. Absolutely. I do think Rom is able to get back if he space it perfectly. I'm not sure how that works with Ike. Ike, I believe, I don't want to ask him. Look at these up airs though coming out from Jump Steady. Honestly, just being very dominant in this match. And you can be the best Ike in the world, but there's not a lot that can change that recovery, and especially the way it interacts with counters like Palutena's. Jump Steady just playing that so incredibly smart. Exactly. Knowing Ike's limitations and abusing them to his fullest potential. And exactly. honestly, to spy, if you have another character. <laughs> I'm just saying. I think, like, it's not even that his Ike is bad. Far from it. I just think that it's Jump Steady just looked so comfortable in that matchup. He knows how to, oh, and we see the switch to Shulk right here. Okay. Good choice from him. And I really like this pick, actually. Yes, and we could see, even last game, we're all going to notice the edge guarding that Jump Steady pulled off. But even just catching the landings, because Ike isn't a character that can land out of disadvantage very well. So he was making sure to abuse that. Just taking all the character's weaknesses to their fullest potential, right there. But now with the switch to Shulk, even though Jump Steady has had that practice against playing Nico and the like in SoCal, it's probably going to be a better pick for this by in the long run here. Definitely. Yes, Jump Steady a bit better in the neutral as well as recovery. I'm interested in this pick of Final Destination here. Mm -hmm. I think that it's probably a good pick in the long run just because Palutena doesn't get those platform combos that she loves so much. Exactly. She but can't ladder as well. I don't know. There's still auto reticle and explosive flame to worry about. So maybe it's a comfort pick. I honestly, well, it looks like it's going way better for him so far. Oh yeah. And Shulk as well as Ike is a character that, with his frame data in the air, it's kind of hard to get out of this event for that shield art. So he definitely doesn't want to be falling victim to those ladder combos if he doesn't have to get out of jail free card. And with the switch to jump, that makes Shulk a lighter character. We can see the upper still killing very early, so maybe the platforms weren't quite as uh, essential as we may have thought for jump steady. Yeah. We'll find a kill in other ways. So how? what's going to happen with the smash art here? Jump steady very smart, just to kind of turtle by the ledge and wait out that smash art. Oh, yeah. I would have done the same thing. <laughs> and we all know that Shulk can be camped out in Smash Art because of the very short art, but you can see Jump Steady using a lot of shield during that sequence too. He doesn't want to die to a forward throw, but shield, uh, Smash Art does do very, very little shield damage, so he knew to do that when Tispy was looking for that mid-range back air forward air. Yeah, but already we have Smash Art coming out again, not being able to secure the KO just yet. What an incredible catch there from Jump Steady though, exactly. from that falling recovery. And Tispy right after he back aired, um, back through Jump Steady off the ledge, he immediately switched off of Smash Art because he knew that um, Jump Steady could just stay off stage for quite a long time and run out that Smash Art, so this guy didn't want to waste any time and immediately switched to Jump and then finish the stock. So we do actually see even stocks here, even if the percents are wildly different, and just as I say it, man. Very but risky. Yeah. From Jump Steady has been so good at reacting to these punishable options and getting the optimal punishes on them. That's not as easy to do as he makes it look.
Yes, and you can see here Jumpsteady playing very patient in the shield, looking for those Nair trains to start off his combos at 0%, but just by switching the sh uh, shield art, making sure the punishment is very minimal. What's going to be the punish here? A Nair? Oh, he wanted something fancy. Yeah, whiffs the grab because he thought that this fight would land on his right side after the drag down, but doesn't quite get it. Nevertheless, still pushing his lead here as this fight struggling to get in with that speed art. We're seeing Tispai going above Jump Steady a lot. Yes, and after he oh. caught that air dodge, it was curtains for Tispai. Wow, Jump Steady just putting on a clinic. Tispai, I'm not even entirely sure what he did too wrong. I think he just overextended a bit too much and just 